went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and this is my daughter Sterling. She's one year old. Sterling and I love to sing together. One of Sterling's favorite songs is Itsy Bitsy Spider. Ah, it's really easy to sing, and you can do hand motions along with the song. I'll show you how. Singing by itself is great, but when you add the motions, kids get involved in a new way. Moving wakes up whole sections of their brains. I'll show you the motions step by step, but first, here's how Sterling and I sing it together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! This is an especially great song because there's a story in it. The itsy bitsy spider gets washed out but keeps trying and climbs up the spout again. Simple stories like this teach kids the basics of plot and characters. That's why Itsy is one of my favorites. Now let me show you the song and motion step by step. The first line is, The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. So you take your thumb and your middle finger and opposite middle finger and you just climb them up like this. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Make your fingers falling rain like this, and then wipe it away. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Take your hands and make a big sun circle overhead. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again, just like we did opposite thumb and middle finger to climb up. So let's put it all together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now don't worry if you forget a word or emotion. What matters is that you're singing with your child. And before you know it, your kids will be singing and moving right along with you. Fans help each other out. Show how you sing with your kids by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club. And please help us make more videos for families around the world by commenting and subscribing. Thanks for watching and start singing. Sterling. <laughs> hey. Went up the water spout. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> the itsy bits. It's the spider. <laughs> Woo! The <laughs> the it's the <laughs> spider went up the water spout, sun and dried up all the rain, and the it's the it's the Come, come here, come here, babe. Let's sing. Hi. Want to sing? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. Dinosaurs have great big teeth that chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, 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 and a chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, 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 and a chomp, chomp, chomp. Dinosaurs! Hi, I'm Liam, and I play Eat the Mouse on Mother Goose Club. The Mother Goose Club is all about music, so am I. 
especially drums. Drumming is good for kids in a lot of ways, and you don't even need real drums to do it. I'll show you how. <laughs> this is my buddy and neighbor Keller. He comes over for jam sessions. We have a lot of ways to jam, don't we? Yeah. Can we do the one where we take turns? Sure. Tell them how we play. Liam drums the pattern and then I drum it. We'll do it faster and faster. Watch. Ready? I'm going to speed it up now. Crazy fast one. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Patterns are super important for math. Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns because it's so fun. Another drumming activity is keeping a beat. Keeping a beat helps with talking and listening. Kids can hear and understand the rhythm of speech better if they practice keeping a beat. I'll start with an easy one. It goes like this. Now you join in. Okay. There you go. Now keep it steady the whole time. I'm going to play different things over it. Very good. <laughs> My favorite thing about drumming is that you don't even need real drums to do it. Pots, pans, food containers, anything can be a drum. You can use a spoon or a pencil as a drumstick, or even just use your hand. Plus, the more kinds of sounds kids hear, the more brain connections they make. Look how the bigger ones make deeper sounds and the smaller ones make higher sounds as we play. Watch. You can join in too. Show my Goose Club fans your drum skills by posting photos and videos and hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Rock and roll by subscribing and type the name of your favorite drummer in the comments below. One, two, three, four. Clickety clack, clickety clack. What's that coming down the track? A freight train. Freight train coming down the track. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Hi, my name is... <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam, jump, Liam drums a pattern. <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam jumps. <clears throat> Another drumming activity. Another. Mm. I think I just... Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns if they. If they... I'm gonna. Wait, were you. Alright, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start with the simple one. All right, and you keep all through. Or... <laughs> yeah, so let's look at the audience and let's. A freight train! Plus, the more kids hear different kinds of sounds. Keep that line. Show Mother Goose Club fans your drumming skills by. Um, subs and type your comment, type your name of your favorite drummer in the comments. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, rock and roll by subscribe. <laughs>
And good job, give me five, you did it! Yay! The more familiar babies are with books, the more likely they are to pick them up to read when they're older. <laughs> That's right, a lizard says blah, 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 blah. Good job, buddy. Just talking about the cover or pictures inside shows kids that pictures are a part of the story. Blue dolphin. Blue bear. Blue bear. you're right. What is this, Benjamin? Over. The spine. And the back. Where's your back? Where's your back? Back here. This is the back of a book. And these are the pages. <laughs> Love you. You don't need to get through all the pictures or even pass the cover with really young kids. The important thing is that book time is fun. What does a sheep say? Ba. You say ba. Ba. Good job, buddy. Good job. When you spend time with your child playing with books, they learn that books equal love. That special time has an effect that lasts forever. <laughs> Wiggle, wiggle. Can you guys wiggle like worms? Bookworms? Be little bookworms. Wiggle like bookworms. There you go. <laughs> Good job, wiggle worms. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Show us how your little ones like to play with books. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. More great ideas for all. Awesome. Come on in and give her some. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Everyone knows that read. Let me start again. Um, give me that first. Even, I'm sorry, the more, that felt strange too, one more. It's still taped where you yes. originally put it. Yes, right there. Too much pink. You. You're welcome. I see it. Me, I Rachel? see it. I see it. Cut camera. Just talking about, sorry, just tell, I don't just know talking. why I'm just talking. <laughs> Did I flub those words? Book time equals fun. No. <laughs> just holding a, Interact with no. You don't. <gasps> Do you want to hold it? No. Is that what sound does a horse make? Is that a horse sound? You don't. Yeah, you don't need. <laughs> One, two, two, three. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's try thanks for watching, right, thanks okay? For watching. okay on the count. One, two, three. Happy New Year! All right. I think we got it. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Hey, I'm Rachel Hockett, and I play the teddy bear on the Mother Goose Club. In real life, I'm a mom to two kids, Olivia and Bradley. Our family loves singing songs together, especially kids' songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I love that singing helps kids to learn new words and it helps with their brain development as well. In this video, I'll walk you through how to sing Twinkle Twinkle with your kids and show you some hand motions to do along with the song. <laughs> it's okay if you don't have the best singing voice. Your kids will want to sing with you no matter what. Let me show you how my family sings Twinkle Twinkle, and then I'll teach you the song and show you how to do the hand motions step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good job! <laughs> we love to sing all over the house, but no matter what, we try to look at our kids while we sing. Making eye contact teaches them how to communicate and helps them to bond with you. So get that beautiful face ready because now we're gonna sing and motion the song step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, 
How I wonder what you are. There's no wrong way to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You and your kids can change up the words or motions anytime. Sometimes people send us photos and videos of their show me how moments. Let's take a look at how some other families sing Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in clips. And keep it up because singing is so great for kids. It breaks down the sounds of words so that they can learn them better, and best of all, it helps you and your child connect. So start singing, and when you do, grab a photo or a video so that you can send it to us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Plus, our YouTube channels have more Twinkle action ready for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Twinkle on everybody, and we'll see you soon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. High five! Mother Goose Club Playhouse.